Yeah, the but at the same system. time, how does the animation work? Do the, you heal it away or not, but good shout, guys. Team Ha, they are bringing in the Eudora. Really good call here, Staffa. Honestly, really good call. I would have expected to, for Team Hawk to actually pull it off again, but looking at the lineup of Todok, again, the investment onto Momo as well as Rival is at an all-time high. If Mod can one-shot either or, this game is already as good as over. And not to mention as well, right, we saw the last time Mon played the Eudora, he doesn't really go for the one-shot, he goes for the big AoE crowd control potential, and when they have a Cult Altar on the opposite side, people are just gonna group up for that ball lightning. I'm excited to find out whether or not Eudora will be the hero that secures the championship title for Team Hawk, or will Todak show that they still have fangs to bear against their newfound rivals. Will this be the final time we enter the Land of Dawn tonight? This is going to be a stressful game. If I was in Thornock's position, I'd be shaking because Team Hawk's comp is really well done. Thornock on the blue side, Team Hawk on the red side, but they're not called the king of comebacks for no reason. I'm expecting Thornock to start really playing out this map. And again, Momo, this is your time to clutch. Absolutely. Momo gonna be playing a very important role on this carry. There's a good amount of tankiness on the opposite side that Todak doesn't have any other solutions around. And they gotta play around this early game with Rival. Yeah. I'm I, Alola against Formaze. I would expect Alola to generally get ahead as soon as he gets his first tank item down. But this Litha Wanderers go well, Min is going real deep here. Okay, buddy. Wait, how is Min, Min and Mon are level two before wait, Rival? Wait a minute. They stole oh, it. They, they stole the purple bubble. Min away has from Rival. purple. No, oh, wait. no. Oh, that's a that's a ter oh. Oh my is, goodness. Rival is gonna have a rough time. That is really unfortunate. And the fact that Rival does, has his retribution does indicate that you're absolutely right. Min did steal it away. We saw him walk away with it just now. And I would have expected Rival to use his retribution, but I guess that's just not the case. This is literally a feels bad moment for Rival. Like, I did, I, I, for a second, I was about to question what happened to Rival? Why is he level one here in Little Wanderer? But Min. Very, very sneaky guy. <laughs> yeah. Chiku, he may be playing a bit aggressive here, but he does have Shadow Stampede, so he's fine. He pulls Min back into tower, but no damage yet. Gary, he picks up the first blood, and he is on a snowball hero. Now they're looking for more. Rival has the mobility to get out, but does Momo. Min gonna charge him down. Gary oh looking for it. Yep, Gary gets it, but he dies too deep. And Min wasn't in position to tank the tower. This is disgusting. Honestly, honest to God, this is disgusting coming out from Team Hawk. They pull away one simple thread, and I'm pretty sure, I wasn't paying attention to the map, but I'm pretty sure that they got the purple buff by stunning Rival, and then immediately using that power of nature to take away the buff. That's very possible. For Maze, though, he's scouting out the turtle. He's gonna be able to win 1v1 against Lola at this stage of the game, and Gary is not quite prepared yet. So Todak are in better position. They do full dive onto Lola. They get him, but Gary! Man sets up the stun onto Fanny! That's what we're talking about! The single target! Ball lightning from Eudora. For Maze, not gonna do enough with your paces. Ram and Gary Talks off another, and Man finish off, off the fight. Team Hack comes out on top. So desperate coming in from Todak. How? How has Team Hawk pushed them so far off the edge? What a terrible engage coming out from the side of Todak. And I mean, Formaze, yes, he was correct. He can beat that 1v1. But did they have to commit so much just to pick off Lola, just to get a little bit back? I highly doubt so. Beautiful, beautiful stuff happening here. And you know, Todak wasn't expecting this Eudora, but when it comes to this decision making, it feels like they need to show their focus a little bit more. Because as of yet, Todak, they pretty much dropped the ball on, on on, on Rival, how can they help Rival recover now? I think at this stage of the game, Rival can just power farm, right? There's nothing much he can really do. He has to wait for his team to actually develop opportunities for him. And remember, their main win condition is going to come down to Momo at the end of the day. So if they can stall it and keep the gold even for both sides, that would be most ideal. But we have to remember, Momo is up against a Claude in the gold lane. Panda will definitely outscale him. And Todak is depending heavily on Rival to secure early to mid game pressure. And Team Hack has denied that from them fully. Even now, going to the gold lane to deny Momo his ability to scale. 
Oh boy, that's uh, it's kind of rough. Redrin will get a free push on top side, but Team Hawk are willing to make it happen. Man, two man wall charge. Gonna be purified away, but here comes the blazing duet. They pick up Yuki. They get another. Both Panda and Gary secure one kill for themselves. Todak, they get the full gold shield up here, but I don't think Team Hawk cares. Yep, again, the wave isn't there in time, and Lola will be able to come back and actually protect the top tier, uh, the top tier one. And despite all of that, Team Hawk now have a stranglehold on the bottom side of the map. Now, speaking of which as well, because from the side of Toda, I asked about how Rear Rival is going to be recovered. But the question now is, for how long do they need to drag this out? Oh, Gary, he's going to steal that bullet. Oh. are actually used very early, but Gary, he's in danger. Rival looking for the kill, but what? is not able to finish him off. Not enough energy to follow up. Min gets a two-man wild charge into the place and do it. Panda doesn't have enough stacks yet, so four mains will survive. A very high damage of oh. Lola finds Chiku guys on the opposite end. No. On, comes in with the forked <laughs> lightning. Gets a free kill. He will be able to run away. Min, he doesn't even have to sacrifice. Man jumps back in with the stun. He wants to give another kill to Panda. They won't get it, but they will get the turtle. Okay, Panda kind of whiffed it there. He could have absolutely killed Yumski for sure. But now they got turtle. They basically got everything. And Team Hawk are really pressing their advantage, even expanding flickers in very odd times. They didn't. They absolutely did not have to do that. But instead, they are bringing the fight to Todak. They feel them shaking. They know Todak is nervous. I'm nervous for Todak right now. Team Hack, as we know, they are currently one game up. They are at match point, championship point, as Terrence put it earlier. This could be the game that dethrones the defending champions, and Formaze gets caught out wild charge. Cult Altar will save him. Here comes the rest of Todak to provide backup, but Team Hack has so much damage, they'll break all the Cult Altar. Gary gets the first kill, mega kill onto the Fredrin, but he gets shut down by Rival. Chiku finds Man in the back line. They will dismantle the back for Team Hack. And now, the rest of them still focus down Yumski. Chiku, guys, the only survivor. But he does have a good amount of damage. He is 1v3, so gets blocked by the wall. And Team Hawk will completely wipe out Toda. Beautifully played. Team Hawk understand it. They've got this game on lock. Focus down Momo. Get him out of this game. And then you can slowly chip away at the other members. They will not be able to take everybody out. Oh my goodness, you can hear the chants, you can hear the roars, you can hear the fans, Team Hawk. They know they have a huge lead, however, it's not over yet. Hold on, they still have a potential to make a comeback, but my question is, oh! how? Because as of now, they get picked up again. Chiku, guys, with a one shot, Min goes in, wild charge, finds four maze, he drops the low HP. Panda jumps in the back line, blazing duet, gets two kills. Triple for himself. Man, gonna be slain by Rival, but he jumps to his death. Panda secures the Mania. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Team Hawk, they've got this. It feels like they're so close to victory and the momentum is fueling them forward. 6K ahead, 20 kills to five against Toda, and they continue to press on. The Cinderella dream is about to come true, but will it be fulfilled? Because as of yet, Team Hawk is still in the game. Likewise coming from Toda. But my question now from Toda, how will they come back from this? Because if you think about it, they've got three purifies. What's that about? Three purifies to protect themselves specifically from mid, but Panda, he's so far ahead of those games, uh, ahead of the game, that even if you purify, you can't run away from it. Panda has sprint. They want to protect themselves against Mon, but honestly, Panda doesn't even need Mon anymore. He can do this himself. For Maze, he's trying to scout out. He's not going to get the taunt on the min, but he does not mind that. Right now, Team Hack, they have complete control over the Riverside. Todak, they want to extend this game, buy time for Momo to farm. But when you've given a Claude an 8-0 KDA, what is the comeback condition? I think at this point, Todak, they just have to figure out a way to run down Panda. It won't be easy. They'll break, they'll have to expand to call Altar. But even then, a single Blazing Duet at max stacks will turn it around. Well, Divine Glaive being purchased from Man as well as the Holy Crystal from Gary. I don't know. That's a lot of damage coming from the mages coming from Team Hawk.
It's, it's too much. Yeah, I think Team Hawk, they've got this. Oh, that's quite a thing to say. That basically equates to them securing championship right here. The Lord gonna be pushing oh, for Team Hawk down already. in the <laughs> Malefic Roar. My goodness. Team Hawk so far ahead. Four Maze, he's gonna get the taunt on the Panda, but he instantly dies. He has no tankiness whatsoever. Panda, incredible. Oh! Oh! He jumps in, gets the one shot. Guess what? You don't have Cult Altar anymore. You don't have Tier 2 anymore. And now the Lord is pushing in the bottom lane. Team Hawk, they're not gonna be able to finish Walk off the in. mid inhibitor, but they have a Lord down here. Walking Star Moon onto Yumsky. They they get the inhib. Do they want to go further? They don't have a lot of their cooldowns, but they'll get one more just before they leave. They have the nuts here. Team Hawk, they've got the secret sauce. Panda is so far ahead. As long as Panda does not throw this, Tordok need to figure out a way to get on top of him, execute him, get this huge shutdown, and maybe they have a chance. But pro teams understand one thing. A 10k gold lead is a death sentence. People who throw this get ridiculed, but Team Hawk has made it this far. You think they're going to stop? 11k, they want more. Min is looking for that wild charge. He gets taunted by Formaze, not ideal, but they're doing a lot of chunk damage to the inhibitor. He's already done his job, buying time. Falling Star oh Moon into the back line, Min. Oh, looking wait. For the wild charge, wild charge. Uh, has been expended, blazing to it, jumping in. Todak will actually all survive that under the Formaze. qualifiers from the bottom making it towards the top now in the playoffs getting kicked down from the upper bracket now the trolling orange esports the trolling tota as mpl my season 10 champions they have done the impossible you can see the excitement on the faces but from the side of Zodak, you can see it's all fun and games for them, but well done indeed coming in from Team Hawk. They've worked so hard for this. They've worked so damn hard. Team Hawk absolutely deserved this. Hold him up. Hold Gary on your shoulders. Well done to Panda. Give that man an MVP award. What I'm looking forward to see what the host has to say as we pass it over to the host. Inila champion.